On Larry King Now, YouTube superstar and new media powerhouse, Jenna Marbles, on adjusting to life in the spotlight. You get recognized on the street. I do on occasion, yeah. It's very, it's very cool though, it's different. It's like we're friends. On what can we expect next from her world famous sexual Wednesday videos? This coming sexual Wednesday? You know what's coming? Oh, I don't even know yet. Well, you don't, you just do it. I do it every Wednesday. Do you have guests? Not really. My boyfriend, maybe some other YouTubers. Plus. I tricked people into thinking I was good looking, which is what I did right now. <laughs> um, what do you mean trick the young to trick people? Oh, stop it. You're going to make me blush. OK, so you're not, you want to talk to them in a way that makes them excited. So they like noises like, yee. So say, cur me. Cur me. <laughs> it's all next on Larry King Now. Welcome to Larry King Now. Since her first YouTube comedy video went viral in 2010, Jenna Marbles has established herself as the queen of new media. Her independently run YouTube channel has a staggering 15 million subscribers, coupled with over 1.7 billion views. Jenna also hosts her own Sirius XM Hits One radio show, The YouTube 15 where she features emerging musicians as well as highly successful podcasts with her boyfriend, Julian, on JennaMarblesBlog.com. And now Jenna's entering the world of long-form media as the executive producer of a digital TV series, Maximum Ride, and she'll appear in the highly anticipated Smosh. That movie is due out July 24th. She's a very busy, busy lady. Your name is Maury, right? Correct, yeah. Why marbles? Uh, well, when I first started YouTube, my mom was getting mad because she was trying to find a new job. And you type in Maury, it's not the most common last name, and my YouTube channel would pop up. And she was like, you need to change that. So I made a new channel called Jenna Marbles. And why, why particularly marbles? It's my dog's name, Mr. Marbles. So you named you, your name after your dog. I took... Instead of naming a dog, after, <laughs> you name a dog, you're named after a dog. Correct. He's that epic. He's a good dog. After getting your master's degree, you got a master's in sports psychology and counseling did. from Boston University. You start blogging at a popular sports site, Barstool Sports. How did all this happen for you? What broke it out for you? You wanted to be a sports broadcaster? No. <laughs> um, I wanted to work uh, with athletes in performance enhancement. So. Uh, helping, you know, a hitter get out of their slump in baseball, oh, things yeah. like that. Or with kids. Sports I mean, psychologists. Yeah. Um, I started working with Barstool sort of as a promo model. I would get in a bikini and go tell people to drink booze and have a good time. And uh, started writing for them. And he posted, Dave Portnoy posted my first viral video on his website. So I did. And what did you do on that video? Uh, I tricked people into thinking I was good looking, which is what I did right now. <laughs> um, what do you mean trick people? You don't have to trick people. Oh, stop it. You're going to make me blush. Um, I basically just showed the transformation of how I do my hair and makeup and the before and after process. And that went viral. Yeah. That has nothing to do with sports psychology. Nothing at all. Why then did you choose that theme and change careers? Um, well, I mean, when the video happened, it was obviously very different than what I had chosen as my field and what I had worked my whole life to study. And I thought it just seemed fun and funny and silly, and the Internet's a really cool place, so I decided to go this way. You think you should be called just a celebrity now rather than YouTube? No, no, I think... You still like YouTube. Yeah, I'm, I've, I'm through and through YouTube. I'm with it. You get recognized on the street. I do on occasion, yeah. It's very, it's very cool though. It's different. It's like we're friends. New media, that's the world of YouTube and social media has taken hold. What, what do you think the threat of that is to traditional media? What do you mean, like? I mean, is it gonna take it over? I don't think it's gonna take it over. I think that there's a place for new media and it's the internet and it's not going anywhere. There's a long time when people didn't take the internet seriously. And I think we're getting to the point now that people know it's the real deal, you know? 
Yeah, you're not kidding. Uh, despite its massive success, you run your online channel independently, right? I Why do. not team with the network? Ah, uh, it's just a lot of things that go into that. I like my freedom. I like my creative freedom. Um, I like doing everything start to finish myself. And to me, it just didn't make any sense. I didn't need any production support. I wanted to do silly things in my bedroom, so I'm doing that. You turned down endorsements? I what? try to, yeah. <laughs> and, and partnerships, why? Why do you resist that? I think that with the internet, the most important thing that you have is that you're a genuine person and that people trust you and they trust that when they turn on YouTube it's really you and I think that you know working with brands and things can be great and a lot of people do it really well but for me it feels very much like stuffing my own pockets with money and taking advantage of the people that are there to see me. So money doesn't drive you? No. What is what does drive you? Fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay what is sexual Wednesdays? Uh, Sexual Wednesday is the day that I upload my videos. So I shoot, edit, and upload all in one day, pretty much. And why do you call it sexual? I don't know. I just started just saying that one is day. Is it sexual? No, not sexual at all. It really has nothing to do with it. Has nothing to do. No. So you would drive people to it based on the title. I mean, what am I going to see here on Sexual Wednesday? <laughs> what do I see when I go to Sexual Wednesday? Ah, uh, a whole bunch of dogs, probably. Bunch of dogs. But well, wouldn't that tend to disappoint the anticipatory viewer? I imagine it does every single week. Every week, here for something sexual, and I just keep getting dogs. And how people? How many people click into that? Uh, Do they have a number? I don't know. It's a million. <laughs> you cater to a younger crowd, right? I wouldn't say I cater to them, but they—that is my demographic: teenage girls. What's coming on Sexual Wednesday? This coming sexual Wednesday? You know what's coming? Oh, I don't even know yet. Well, you don't, you just do it. I do it every Wednesday. Do you have guests? Mm, not really. My boyfriend, maybe some other YouTubers. Jenna's expanding her online empire. We'll hear what's next. Plus, stay tuned, because later, I'm going to meet the famous dog, Kermit. <laughs> My dog was a frog. We're back with Jenna Marbles, who is everywhere. You go, click on the internet, Jenna Marvels is there. Go to a podcast, Jenna Marvels is there. You may see her in the sky soon with her own flying machine. Anyway, uh, your methods are untraditional, right? True. I would say. Do you think you have the comedic prowess of other comedians? No. No. If I did, uh, I would probably be writing scripts and things. I'm really good at making really dumb short form jokes. So. So you admit that you do dumb things? Yes. Michael Eisner, my old friend who used to run Disney, he got in hot water recently when he said, quote, from my position, the hardest artist to find is a beautiful, funny woman. By far, usually unbelievable, beautiful women are not funny. <laughs> Would you comment on that? Uh, well, if anyone thinks I'm funny, they should refer to my first video, which was how to trick people into thinking you're good looking. So I'm not really good looking at all. I'm actually, very. You don't think you're good looking? No, I'm very ugly looking. You know, you can check out some vlogs for that. So do you think Eisner was correct that beautiful women aren't funny? No, I wouldn't agree with that. No. Have you, you seen Chrissy Teigen? She's hysterical. Oh, what? oh, she's yeah. A, she's oh, a she's, she's been here. She's hysterical. She makes me laugh. She is funny. I agree. You open yourself up to ridicule, right? True. Do you read the comments on YouTube that I you do. get? I do. And how do you feel when you're ridiculed? Um, I mean, you take it as it comes and not let too much of it go to a place that's bad because then you'd stop doing what you're doing. You don't you know? let it affect you? No, you can't. Last year you spoke openly about your lack of true path in life. Do you now have a clearer vision? <laughs> no. No, I will never. Jenna, have a I'm trying vision. to figure out what you are, Jenna. You're a, you got a master's in I sports. Do. What are you? I don't know. I think that's what's exciting. That's what's relatable to a lot of people. Is that just because you know you might be good at something or you might like things doesn't mean you know where you're going to go or what life will bring. So what you're saying is you're a regular girl. Yep. You're not beautiful. Nope. You're not a comedian. <laughs> no. You have no great talent. Nope. But millions flock to see you. 
It's, I, I, all I can do is keep it real. Come to sexual Wednesdays where yeah. there's no sex. Exactly. You got a good gig going. I, it's a f <laughs> show. It's a complete <laughs> <f> show. <laughs> You're signed with CAA, the Creative Artist Agency. That's a major agency. Yes. Okay. What does this mean? It's a big move. <laughs> this is kind of traditional. You have an agency. It is. Okay, it what is. does that mean? Um, it means that I got to a point uh, within the internet world that I have accomplished a lot of things on my own, and it's time to have some serious backing. And I honestly, if we're talking about my goals, I think just trying to see where you can go on the internet and being your own boss and you know, not maybe climbing a traditional ladder. Um, I'm really interested to see what you can do by yourself and how far you can go by yourself. What do the folks at CAA think? Oh, they're ready. They're ready to do it with me. They're, they're right there patting me on the back, like, we don't know what's gonna happen to you, but do it. They're great, they're great. Group. They're wonderful. You're executive producing a long-form digital show, Maximum Ride. It's a, a young adult book series uh, that James Patterson, who writes a book every other day. Correct. <laughs> I've interviewed James Patterson. I don't know how he does it. I don't know either. He's, he's a machine, right? I know. Tell me about Maximum Ride. Um, well, you know, it's uh, people love it everywhere, uh, teenage girls especially, and they wanted to turn it into a web series and thought that I was a really great person to get on board with this younger demographic of girls and make something cool and dark and creepy that they would like and watch on YouTube. You read the books? I did. I, well, I read the first ones. I'm very like excited and happy about being a part of it because I've never done anything outside of really my YouTube channel. So as executive producer, mm -hmm. what do you do? Well, I mean, we've been going through the casting, picking people for this role. I get feedback every day on Twitter from people very invested in these books. They're like, you can't have this person, you need this person, you need that person. So, I mean, I'm trying to take feedback as much as I can, but... Is Patterson involved? Yeah, there's a lot of expectations for this, so... You like working with him? Yeah, I mean, it's not like we're on the phone every day. It's kind of a big deal, but, yeah, I mean, the whole thing's gonna be pretty awesome. All I like about James is he encourages. Yeah. Writing encourages new writers. He hooks up with other writers. He co-writes books. He's a he's cool a, guy. He's, he's doing a, a web series. Yeah. That means he's a cool guy. Might you step in front of the camera on Maximum Ride? Uh, I mean, they haven't asked me to, but I can't imagine I'd be too opposed to it. How do you keep up with yourself? <laughs> I mean, uh, you got to have a Tuesday, a Thursday show, a Friday. Your XM radio music show is a certified hit. How did you get involved in that? Uh, they called me, basically, and they were like, would you like to host a radio show on Sirius XM? And I was like, are you kidding? Of course I would. Um, and we play whatever is trending on YouTube that week on Sirius XM, which is a very cool show. How often you do that? Once a week, every single week. You live in LA? I do, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and you and your boyfriend, you the day begins, you get up and wang, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. You're, you're both going somewhere. Go do weird stuff all day, every day. You preview up and coming music acts online, right? Mm -hmm. Anyone you're really excited about? Um, well, there's a lot of kids on Vine that are doing some very cool things musically. Sean Mendez, there's Jack and Jack. Vine is like how long? Six seconds. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> I've done a couple things on Vine. How can you tell a musical act in six seconds? Well, I mean, ask any teenage girl that likes Vine. It only takes six seconds to fall in love with Shawn Mendes. He's electric. Fly me to the moon and let me... Done. Here's That's your million it. dollars. <laughs> Here, take my money. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't click away. <laughs> We're gonna meet Jenna's dog, Kermit, and learn the proper way to talk to her famous pup right after the break with this really unusual lady. We're back with the incredibly talented Jenna Marbles. She knows her way around this. She's acting a little innocent and plays stuff down, but this is a sex-crazed woman. Sexual Wednesday should be on your calendar. The woman is crazed. You're appearing in a new movie called Smosh the Movie. What is that all about? 
Oh, Smosh. Smosh have been on YouTube for probably, I think a decade now, and uh, they're. What is Smosh? Is Smosh a dog? They're two two guys. Ian two and, guys. Two, Ian and Anthony, and uh, they're just fantastic. And they decided to make a movie. They're basically going back in time in YouTube to try and delete a video, and so I'm there, in some portion of time, just making a video, and they drop in and How'd you get hilarity and How did they come to you? Um, I mean, they're some really cool internet people also where as a community, you know, we try and build each other up and help each other because we're all on team internet together. And uh, they were like, hey, you want to be in our movie? And a lot of other YouTube, YouTube people as well. And I was like, of course. So. We are now going to take a peek at the clip. This is due July 24th. Here's a clip from Smosh. Theory, take us to our graduation night video. It's time for some redemption. I am now taking you to Jenna Marbles. Wait, what? Now she's just screwing with us. Listen, you're a guy. And you're wearing eyeliner. Not like Halloween eyeliner or anything like that. Like all day, every day eyeliner. I got news for you. It's hot. I like that. Keep doing what you're doing. What the <laughs> hell, man? Oh, dearie, damn it. <sighs> Jenna, I'm really sorry, OK? Just forget we were ever here. We'll just be on our way. Hold on. Jenna? It's me, Big Rod 91. I've commented on a bunch of your videos. Oh, yeah, I know exactly who you are. You kidding me? No idea. Smosh the movie. <laughs> Jenny, you look great. The hair is blonder there. Yes. I, I go through many different colors. This is like green. It like matches your whole outfit. Yeah, it is green and brown on top. It's all different things. Well, do you change it every day, or how often do you change your colors? Every couple months. The movie features internet stars. Mm -hmm. Will we see it in theaters? I mean, I hope so. I believe, like, a couple showings at least. Okay, smosh. Yeah. All right, let's bring in Kermit and tell me a little background about him. Kermit! <laughs> Kermit hey, the dog. Hey, buddy. You want him to just run around? All right. Oh, you want me to hold him? Come here, buddy. Hi. Yes. What kind of dog is Kermit? Kermit is an Italian greyhound. Oh, yeah, the little greyhound. And the internet likes to think that he looks like Snoop Dogg, so. He does it away. Mm. Now he, his hands are like, he keeps his hands like a kangaroo, mm -hmm. his yep. feet. Yep. What's his personality like? He's the strangest dog in the world. He likes to sit like this and do nothing. Sometimes he smiles. There's a picture of him. I heard you're friends with Snoop Dogg. Does he, so. I'm close friends with Snoop Dogg. Does he bark? <laughs> he does, that's squirrels. He hates squirrels. Team no squirrels. <laughs> How old is he? He's five. Has he been mated? No, he's, he's fixed. You fixed him? I know. <laughs> Why did you deny <laughs> Kermit a life of? <laughs> I'm sorry. He doesn't I'm even sorry. tune into Sexual Wednesdays. No. So he has no interest in it. I, yeah, right? He's just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a terrible dog owner. <laughs> OK, one of your most famous videos is a tutorial on the proper way to talk to dogs. True. Show me how. OK, so you're not, you want to talk to them in a way that makes them excited. So they like noises like, eee! So say, Kermi. Kermi! <laughs> say, wee! You want to go outside? Wee! You want to go outside? <laughs> oh, I, that works with my dog. You say outside. Outside. Gone, and he barks his crazy. Outside. The only time he barks is if you're taking him outside. <laughs> but he knows the word. Outside. Outside or, want to go, or, or, or just walk. out. Walk. Yeah. Say out or out. walk. <laughs> walk. He goes right to the leash. Does he? There's the leash. Oh. Take me. Dogs are the best. He's making weird noises with his body right now. All right, buddy? <laughs> he is adorable. I'm going to play a little game with you, OK? OK. It's a little game of if you only knew. Just All right. Let's this out. First boy you kissed. Ooh, uh, I think we were in kindergarten, and I did it in front of my dad. I said, hey, dad, look at this. And then I kissed him, and then he got mad. And then... What was his name? Um, I think Matthew. You ever find out what happened to him? No. <laughs> no. Best piece of advice you ever received? Uh, just go where the wind blows you. Most embarrassing moment? Oh, um, well, we presented a Streamy Award together, but that was probably it. I was trying really hard to act regular, and I wasn't accomplishing that. <laughs> if not dogs, then what? Oh, uh, cats, I guess. You like cats? <laughs> They're OK. Yeah. Kind of terrible. Thing you miss most about the East Coast? Oh, the weather, the trees, the autumn. 
Boston Double had picking. a terrible winter. True, they always do. You're stranded on a desert island. What three things do you want with you? Kermit, Marbles, Peach. Those are my three dogs. Superpower you wish you had? Mm, uh, I don't know. Not being able to get hungry at all ever? That'd be amazing. Not needing to eat. Right, but you can eat, you just don't have to. Or not having to sleep. Yeah, me too. I don't. Yeah. I wish, I'd like to see everything all the time. All the time. Why do you have to sleep? I'm like a forever five-year-old. I don't want to go to bed. Uh, dream co-star in a sexual Wednesday video. <laughs> well, you, for sure. Anytime you want to come over, hang out with the dogs. <laughs> okay, Only I'll if be, you wear that outfit. Though. I'll be there on a sexual with my, with my <laughs> green outfit. Yes. Song we'd most be surprised to find on your iPod. Like a song I don't have on my iPod? Or a song you do have. Oh, um, anything that has Nicki Minaj in it. Favorite place to write and brainstorm new videos? Outside. And Jenna Marbles in 10 years? Oh, just on a farm full of dogs. <laughs> you are a dog freak. Yes. Does your boyfriend like them too? Uh, he kind of likes them. He puts up with them. <laughs> no surprise, we were flooded with social media questions for Jenna. She'll answer them next. Be good, Kermit. Be good, Kermit. We're back with Jenna Marbles, who is everywhere. Just go on the internet and you'll find Jenna Marbles. Go to your radio, you'll find Jenna Marbles. Go to your podcast, you'll find Jenna Marbles. Go to your movie theater, you'll find Jenna Marbles. Go to a dog pound, you'll find Jenna Marbles. <laughs> Madison on the Larry King Now blog would like, what advice do you have for aspiring bloggers? Um, just to start and be as genuine as you can. Keep it real, you know? What makes a blogger? Like a vlogger, like a video? You're just anybody that has a camera in front of them and is just being they themselves. They want to say anything. Yeah. It's, it's very uh, self-involved, isn't it? It is, it's a little self-involved. You, you have to understand that people want to see things that you're not cognizant that people would want to see. Like, they, people would genuinely want to watch you make your bed or like what your room looks like or where you keep your shoes. Like, people just are very curious by human nature and want to see what your life is about. So just be a human. Manga Boss on the Larry King Now blog. If you were to introduce someone new to your YouTube channel, what's the one video you'd show them? Ah, uh, how to trick people into thinking you're good looking, probably. Or drunk makeup tutorial. I did my makeup drunk. Okay, bye, Kermit. Were you actually drunk? Oh, yeah, I was hammered. I didn't remember finishing the video. Really? Yeah, blacked out. Do you drink a lot? No. <laughs> no, I like to make drunk videos, but people think I like to drink a lot. I don't. Only on the weekends. Uh, at the Galaxy Gecko on Twitter, if you could get another dog, what breed would you choose? I want a big, giant poodle named Noodle or a silken wind hound named Gary. I like dogs with people names. At Hell Sounds Good on Twitter, is there a video you ever wanted to remove or a video you didn't like as much as the others? Yeah, a lot of them. Because I shoot, edit, and upload all in one day, there are some videos that go up there forever. That I wish At Hyena One, do you and Julian have any plans to get married? Yeah, sure. At Furious Miss via Twitter, I love you so, so, so much. Wow. What are your dog's favorite treats? Um, probably greenies. Do you ever feed your dog greenies? They're like little chew now, My sticks. dog has special diet. Aww. Yeah, he has a little problem when he was born, so they, he get, the meat, it's expensive to come ship to us every week. Your dog is spoiled. My dogs are jealous, don't tell them, shh. Yeah, they get special food. They get, sometimes it's chicken and vegetables, all. Oh, that's like, I wish I could eat that. We don't feed him any streets or. Really? Get, yeah. Oh, just chicken and stuff? <laughs> just yeah, meals. No, yeah. Just meals. At Show One T on Twitter, what would you be doing with your life right now if you didn't have YouTube and online media? Um, I'd probably be using my degree. <laughs> degrees. Finally. I, you yeah. Two I, I think I would be working with kids or athletes in some capacity. So. You would help a batter in a slump. Yeah, or I, kids, or kids that just want to play. With a, what you do with a batter having a good hitter who runs, he's old for 22. It's all very dependent on the case. I know that's not a very fun answer, it's but there's, general, no, right? yeah, there's no quick fix. Because I played softball in college, we all go through some bad slumps. Is it mental? Yeah, a lot of it. It's fascinating to the sports fan, I'm an avid sports it fan. Is. We can never figure out yeah. slumps. Yep. 
At the Galaxy Gecko via Twitter, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? And he hopes they'd say Great Britain. <laughs> <laughs> well, aside from Great Britain, uh, I think I'd go to Rochester, New York, which is where I grew up, because I really want a garbage Wait a plate. Wait a minute. <laughs> what? I'm offering the pick here of going anywhere in the world. Yeah, I want to go you home. Choose, you choose Rochester, New York. Yeah. Have you ever had a garbage plate? They're really good. They're that good. How... How old, how old were you when you left Rochester? Like 17. So you have a lot of memories there? Yeah. High school? Yep. Last but not least, Zonia AZM from the Larry King Now blog. What's it like to be interviewed by Larry King? <laughs> and what does he smell like? Oh, he smells like the most delicious sugar cookies ever. Wow. And it is just completely surreal and a complete honor, so. Well, it's my honor to have you. <laughs> I wear Chanel for men. You were Chanel for men. Who am I sure? Oh, well, I'll remember See, that. I think it's their oldest male oh. fragrance. Is it? Do that with your mouth. Oh, again. I was creepy drawing you. Do oh. <laughs> That's her next show, the Creepy Jaw Show. She'll show you dogs that can move their jaws. Dog. Thank you so much for having me. Big thanks to my guest, Jenna Marbles. Be sure to tune in to her YouTube channel, her weekly podcast on jennamarblesblog.com and the YouTube 15 on Sirius XM Hits Radio 1. Also, catch Jenna in Smarch, the movie, due out July 24th. You can always find me on Twitter at King's Things. We'll see you next time. <laughs>